Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play uh, the Duchy of Wallachia. Wallachia? Wallachia? It's, it's one of those three. Um, and we're playing as Duke Mircha Vassarab of Wallachia. And can I just say that we look like a badass? Look at this guy. That huge scar. And, uh, I mean, he looks angry. Um, I'm angry. Let's get, let's get some conquering done. Anyway, uh,. Yeah, we're not forbidden. Okay, so we need to get married. Um, we're going to go to the old standby trick of search all. Search for women who are not married. And have genius? We have an Irishman. And a Italian who is a homosexual. Um, okay, if we could get this Irishman... Let's try, uh, try strong really quick. Let's see what we got. So, yeah, we have no, no Christian strong women. Attractive is not a priority, so we're probably going to go for the Italian. We have a Greek who's attractive. Uh, no, no. Let's go for the, uh, go for the. Actually, what's the other one? Quick, 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 quick. Armenian. You do have a Greek who's quick. And she is an elusive shadow. Uh, one of the changes with Conclave, the newest expansion, is that your wife cannot be the spymaster anymore. It, it was never optimal. Uh, it was never like a, a good choice, but it was always an option. Um, now, where is it? Is it in the Connie? There, it's status of women. Was I just not looking at it? Yeah, I just wasn't looking at it. Okay. So, to have your wife be the spy master, you need... Yeah. Uh, this one might not even count. It's allowed for women who are related to the ruler, so I guess that could mean the wife. Although, she's not really... You know, a relative. I hope. It's possible, but <laughs> it's not ideal. Um, yeah, so we'd have to at least bring it up to marginal. And that's just not going to happen for a very long time. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so, yeah, let's not even worry about that right now. Let's just get, marry that, that genius. Uh, Augusta, she's going to cost me a lot of prestige. Like, a lot of prestige. 200, which is way more than I have, but it's for the it's for the sake of the long term. You gotta gotta sacrifice for the long term. Okay, and uh, so there's been a lot of changes to the council, obviously with the Conclave DLC, which focuses exclusively on it. Right now, um, since we ruler designed him, uh, Mircha, all of our council are uh, Bulgar and Tengri you know, wrong religion, wrong culture, so they all hate us. They're all malcontent. And, um, which means they're, they're not going to vote on anything that I want, you know. They're, they'll always oppose me in everything. That's just, you know, they're like the ultimate uh, hipster uh, councilman. They'll, they'll just always go against the mainstream. Um, okay, so what this means is since we uh, ruler designed him, we're going to have to do some of this stuff. We're going to have to... Ah, oh, it costs a lot of prestige. Well, we need one commander. We need a holy man. And three nobles. And what we're just... We're just going to hope that what we, got, what we got was good, basically. This guy, he's got 11 marshal. That's good enough. He still hates me because we're, you know, really bad. Uh... Wait, that was that was not was that correct? Yes, it must have been. This guy, this guy's good. He's got a lot of stewardship, so we'll immediately put him in. Valerio. Uh, we need a marshal. This guy is our best marshal, unfortunately. He's pretty bad. Um, Spy master is important. Yes. 
He hates us, so what we're going to do is give him some titles. Make him not the cupbearer. Uh, high almoner? I don't know how many of these he can own. Hopefully he can take all of these, because he's going to need at least three. Let's make him cupbearer. And that... Fuck. Alright. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Um, we could send him a gift. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna live on the edge. Um, fuck you, spy master. I don't care if you hate me. This guy is not bad. Senislav doesn't really sound Romanian. It could be Timote de Dristra. That's all right. So now that we have him, now that we have them set up, they're probably no, no one's malcontent. That's good. We have a zealot. Um. You know, I don't know exactly how these work, just off the top, you know, just based on their descriptions, I'd assume that they would like holy wars, things like that. Yeah, more inclined to accept hostile action against heathens. Uh, Glory Hound, these are the people that want you to conquer, they want you to make the realm stronger. Pragmatists, they want you to act reasonably, rationally, you know, they don't want you to overextend. Uh, I, children like an education focus. Uh, this guy's. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do to him? No, it's too late. He can't be. Uh, uh, what does he have? He's haughty, haughty, affectionate, and brooding. Uh, he's his. He's strongest in diplomacy. It doesn't even matter. He's wrong religion and stuff. Okay. Duke Mircha. He needs an ambition. We will make him... You know, he's most likely able to become a counselor. I doubt he'll make us... I doubt he'll give us a title. So let's become a counselor. This will um, eventually allow me to ask the liege to give me a spot. Um, I don't know if it makes them more inclined to give you one, but he'll probably offer me one anyway, just because my stats are pretty good. Uh, what else do we need to do? No heir, right? Oh, we'll lose all of our titles since we have no heir. We're unmarried, but we took care of that. Council is discontented. They might just start like this. It might be because I replaced everyone that was on it previously. Uh, speaking of council, we need to fabricate claims. I want this. Alright, so... Let's talk about goals. Short-term goals, long-term goals. Long-term goals, we want... Well, short-term... Well, it's not even short-term. Long-term, you know, obviously we want the Kingdom of Wallachia. Right now we own the Duchy. To form the Kingdom, we'd have to take the Duchy of Moldavia, or Moldau, whatever it was called back in these days. Uh, Longer-term goals, obviously we want the Duchy of Transylvania. This is proper Romanian clay. We want it. Uh, you know, we want to kind of, kind of roughly get Romanians' borders, um, like modern-day Romania, probably uh, pre, you know, World War II Romania before Bulgaria took like this part of it. They took something down here. I think it was this this county, Kirkman. Uh Romania used to own this. Romania also used to own. Was it Terrabovo? They, they owned something that Ukraine took. They might have given it back, I can't remember. Um, my World War II Romanian history at the moment. Um, anyway, so yeah, you know, obviously we're going to want to expand as much as possible, just because it's what you do in these games. And, uh, you know, maybe long, long-term goal, form an empire of Carpathia. Although, it's... I don't know how that would work in the transition to EU4. Um, it's possible that I wouldn't be able to form Romania or something if that happened. That, that's really what I want. I want to become Romania in EU4. Uh, Alright, so let's, let's unpause, I think. Oh no, cancel. That's right. Um, I want to train troops, I think. I want to collect taxes and study technology. I wish we had a better spy minister. I really do. Study technology in Constantinople, and 
I guess we can try to convert. Let's try to convert. Um, everything we own is wrong religion. It's all Tengri. Uh, we are an Orthodox um, Romanian because I just wanted to start that way. I didn't want it to go through the whole conversion process. It just takes a long time. And uh, the only province that we own that is actually Romanian or Vlach is uh, this one. There's only three provinces in the game that are Vlach at the beginning of the game. This one in Nysos, which is owned by the Byzantine Empire, which means we'll probably never get it. If we do, it'll be a very long shot. Um, this one... Um, I don't know, it's not a priority. If I get it, I get it. And uh, this one, which is uh, Vlach in Slavic religion. So, okay, let's unpause. And for the uh, for a while, actually, what did he, he just declared on someone. Oh, he's trying to subjugate Serbia. Yeah, see, this is this is has this has been like the pattern. Um, I've tried just like some test games, and he he starts blobbing like immediately. And um, oh, an old wound is aggravating and painful. I'm now ill. Oh, laws. Yes. And, you know, something I forgot to mention, I have a strong claim on the Khanate of Bulgaria itself. So if I was ever able to become strong enough to press that claim, you know, my levy size is not great. One thing I've looked into doing before was starting a faction. Um, so I'll start it, just to see. Um, this guy likes me. No, that's the opinion of Leech. Never mind, this guy hates me. Uh, one thing I could do... This guy has a strong claim. Eventually, I could try to buy favors with uh, some of the other vassals. And uh, with those favors... This guy, I could... No, he wouldn't accept, because he hates me. Uh, if, if I'm able to somehow get favors, I can then use them to force them onto my faction. And if I can get even one other vassal, I think it'd be strong enough. Um, it depends on if he has allies that he calls in and all that stuff, but we can look at that when we get there. Um, yeah, here's that request council position. I need prestige for it, unfortunately. Anyway, let's watch him fight the Serbians, I suppose. And as far as laws go, I would really like to change some of these. I think I need legalism first. Yes. I, I literally cannot change any laws until I get that. I could change some of these, but I think these are fine. God is dead. I don't know about that. Okay, my wife Augusta has complained about me, me being absent so often. Uh, she wants some jewelry. Actually, I didn't even notice I got married. I must have just clicked through it. Alright, so we're married to a lesbian, Duchess Augusta of Wallachia. She's Italian. She looks more Romanian than I do. Um, Alright, so we could spend money to make her fall in love with us. I think that's a good, I think that's a good investment, actually, because we're going to want a lot of kids. Uh, so he wants to make me a commander. It's not a council position, and it will just put me in danger unnecessarily, so I will not accept any commander positions. Okay, we're not ill anymore. That's good. Unfortunately, Serbia only have about a thousand troops somehow. That's less than I have. And we became Master of the Blade. Interesting. Um, increased council power. That faction, we might just join this. You know what? Can I join this? Yes. I can join and own one. Okay, I didn't know that. I'm gonna join this. I'm now known as the Mad. <laughs> Duke Mircha the Mad. Awesome. Okay, so we're, maybe this faction will fire. I really hope it does, actually. Really hope it does.
Come on. Yeah, he's sieging one of my holdings down. Which causes it to produce a little bit less money for me. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he gave in. He didn't want to fight, which is unfortunate. I was actually hoping that he would, that w this would go to war, because I, I, would, I want to just weaken him, weaken the realm in general as much as possible. So this guy likes me now a little bit more. I was hoping it would give us a favor with him or s something. And that was the... This is the guy I'm trying to fabricate the claim on, actually. Interesting. Okay, so now that the council has power, I really, really want a position on the council. Let's look at the Leech Council. Um... Hmm. This guy. God, he's so bad. Well, I guess he's... You know, I, I don't have another marshal, so I'm not going to make him leave. Do I really? Did he die? He did. He died. This is the only councilman I had that was any good. Uh, which means that we need... We need a new noble. And it's costing a lot more now. That's a shame. Oops. Pause that game. Uh, this guy is a good steward. Well, he's not as good as the, other, the old one, but he's... His highest stat is in stewardship. Oh, I didn't want to study tech. I wanted to collect taxes. Oh well. Oh, I'm ill again. Just, just heal, please. <laughs> please heal. Okay, that was quick. I still need to lose my wounded trait. Uh, there it goes. That was serendipitous. Righteous imprisonment this guy. Does he have any money? He does have some money. I don't know if I want to piss him off, though. He has a lot of money. Holy shit. He has 100 gold. Right now he is... This is the Leech Council. He's actually Malkin. Which, which means that yes, I will imprison him. Shoot. And that also means they're gonna have to buy another freaking um, commander. Well, I can't. So I'll buy a, I'll buy a noble. And he's terrible. He has one martial skill. Okay. And I'm sure he's probably malcontent as well. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, this guy... Three pragmatists. Uh, what was I gonna do? Alright. Oh, I cannot ransom him, unfortunately. I can banish him. And take all of his money. Perfect. Is there anyone else who has money and wants to be a wants to be a prisoner? They all have about a hundred gold, which is a, which is pretty interesting. Uh, for right now, we're just going to save money. You never know when we, when we might need it. Let's check out factions. Nothing really... Hey, I have 
almost 100% of the strength of our liege. Um, my wife is my honor. Yeah, I have to choose. I have to go for, have to go for the prestige. Uh, so what this means, I need to start looking to see if I can buy favors. No. This guy's too expensive. Yep, way too expensive. Even if I could just get one. One vassal. All right, so we got our first child on the way. Uh, we are gavelkind, unfortunately, which means that it will be a little bit more difficult to... Well, it's more risky to have more kids, but since we only have... Since we have currently no one in our dynasty, um, we definitely want many of them. And uh, we're slowly gaining some points here. I really want legalism the most right now. I want to start working on these laws. I want to uh, probably get revoked title first. God damn it. You're only 30, what happened to you? That's our second dead steward. Well, let's get another one. Let's get a couple. This guy's good. And he actually likes me too. He's content. Okay, that makes sense. Click taxes, please. And this marshal, is there any... Is that other guy better? This guy's also a good steward. I th he is technically better. Um, yeah, let's put him in. Alright. Let's see if that changed any of this stuff. And we still have one malcontent, our marshal. Alright, so we have a daughter. Her name is Dana. Dana Basarov. I'm going to change her name to Alina. Okay. And all of our vassals our barony holdings are, are still Bulgar and um, Tengri, unfortunately. Uh oh. He's trying to get me out of the faction. Can I... I could just demand the installation right now. Let me, just, let me see. He's got more troops than me by a lot. But he's currently in a war. Oh, this is interesting. Um, does he have allies? He has no packs. His vassals dislike him, except for this guy, who's paying him a lot, actually. Likes his liege quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to call the episode here and uh, look this over. It's definitely interesting, because if I accept these, then I'll just be kicked out of the faction. I think I can't form another one for like 10 years or something. I'm not sure how long it is. Anyway, um, this is Miskatonic, and thanks for watching.